Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies this week launched the National Exporter Development Program, or NEDP. Natasha Woodendahl discusses the likely impact and benefits of this. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Can you briefly outline for us what the NEDP entails? The NEDP is a flagship program of TISA, the Trade and Investment uh, South Africa Division of the DTI. The aim of it is to increase exports and build the exporter skills base in South Africa. I mean, many companies yet do not have the skills or the resources, the capacity to actually export um, efficiently and successfully um, and compete with all the other companies worldwide. Now, the NEDP aims to build capacity of the companies, attract new exporters, build the skills base of the current ones, and increase um, our exports through pushing through value-added products and services that would be more beneficial to South Africa's economy. The program aims to focus on a whole variety of levels. Um, as Dr. Rob Davies said, it would be an evolutionary process. I mean, most companies start off being an explorer, looking at the options of exporting, but they don't know how. They then move through to become export-aware and then export-ready, starting to export and then becoming a global competitor. The program also aims to propose an integrated system, if you will, of developing a national information network, um, an exported database, um, websites, mentoring programs, a call center as well to try and assist exporters to, be better, to better get a grasp of how to export outside South Africa. Why is the plan important for South African exporters? Well, Davis previously mentioned that South Africa currently exported less, much, much less than what we do importing. Um, this obviously created a deficit of almost 9 billion in February. That reached 20, over 20 billion in January. And South Africa needed to focus on trying closing that gap by adding a more value added products and services to the export base as well as increasing skills, increasing these exports, and competing competitively internationally. Um, Davis also notes that South Africa, once South African companies actually moved outside its shores, the sentiment falls away. South Africa is then now officially competing with every other country in the world that is actually trying to increase their exports as well. Competition is fierce, it gets tough, they need to be able to competitively and efficiently compete. Um, he also points to a changing dynamics in the export industry where our normal traditional markets are slowing down. The market is just changing and uh, the dynamics of the industry. Um, the European countries, for instance, the growth is slowing down. Our traditional trade with them is slowing down. The emerging countries, on the other hand, are rapidly growing. They're now competing against the, the, the developed countries and overtaking them with growth. And who will be involved in this plan? Everyone. Um, the DTI wants to get everyone involved. While it is obviously a government plan and they're trying to open doors for South Africa, they want businesses to be involved, they want state-owned companies to be involved, they want pretty much anyone, local municipalities, provincial governments, all of them to be involved develop this plan until we actually get a nice integrated industry. Thank you. Thanks. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.